What the hell are you doing? Decorating. But why? Oh, it's all the range. Makes things look a bit fresher, you know. No, no, I mean, why are you painting my restaurant? Uh, who let you in? Eric gave us the keys and so we come in, but don't worry, because he's only done his bits. Eric, yeah, well, his bits start on the other side of that door for your information. Actually, Marlon, no. The stairs are his access and therefore his responsibility. Oh, are they? <laughs> you know why he's doing this, don't you? Fancy the change? Boxes, low music, he's trying to sabotage my business. We won't get in the way. Health inspector's due any day. He'll close me down if he sees you lot here. What's tidy up after? D the smell? What am I supposed to say to me customers? I don't know what you're getting so wound up about. It'll look nice. <sighs> well, I suppose he could have chosen something worse. <laughs> oh, this is just the undercoat. Oh, yeah. This is the real colour. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Right, love. I'd best get a move on. I'll see you later. What about? Haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh. I'll be home for tea. Good. Angie, I love you. Hmm. <laughs> Go on. You put me off my breakfast, you two, though. I'll see you, kids. See ya. You better hurry up if you want anything. What's up with you? Mark. Just forget it, Ollie. This is one thing you don't want to hear. Brendan McGowan's coming to see his mayor this afternoon. Yeah. Does that worry you at all? Look, I'm having someone look into him to see if we can dig up some dirt, persuade him not to pull out. Oh, great. So you and Tara have a business meeting without me and this is the best you can come up with? Now, look, your vet made a mistake. You're liable. I don't see why I'm fixing it anyway. Fine. So we close the whole thing down, you can kiss goodbye to all your money. Well, what do you want me to do? Come up with a more sensible way of keeping Brenda's business. If he pulls out, we'll almost certainly go under. OK. Set up a meeting this lunchtime with Tara and bring some ideas. I can't. Having lunch with charity. What? The table's booked, it's all arranged. I can't let her down now, can I? You better be here, Chris. Because if this slips away, I'm not sure you'll be able to afford charity much longer. So you're going to be here all day, are you? Oh, I can't just leave on her own, can I? We could do something tonight. We can't. I've taken some extra shifts at the bar. What? I can't just keep hanging around waiting for you all the time. So what am I supposed to see if the minute I knock off you go into work? <sighs> Put in less hours during the day. <laughs> Are you serious? You want to work, so do I. At least when I'm there I get to talk to people. I'm better let you get on with it. Joe? Pollard's wall ends there. Not a single drop of paint goes past that mark, right? Calm down, Marlon. Customers aren't going to see it from table. This colour? See it from the moon? Oh, yeah. What's going on? Look well, what he's done now. Who? Pollard. Is there anything he wouldn't sink to to see us ruined? Probably not. <laughs> Can I put something a bit more subdued up? It's what he wants. He's paying for it. I'm sorry. How can you do this to me? I'm family, for heaven's sake. Oh, Marlon, it's going to be all right. Come on. He's trying to drive me up the wall. Well, success is the best revenge. Mm -hmm, yeah, and the least likely. We've hardly got anybody coming in. We'll have to do something about it, won't we? What? Advertise, special deals. Let everybody know we're here. We can't give in without a fight, can we? No. So let's work out what we're going to do to make a go of this place. Let's really put Eric's nose out of joint. Right for Sam, innit? What is? Off anywhere nice? Oh, you know, I could do with an holiday. But what with the business and everything, I can't imagine when we get one. <laughs> I'm not going on holiday. Oh. Moving, are we? Yeah. Going in with Paddy? Ooh, talk about living above the shop. <laughs> I'm leaving. For good? Looks like it. Why? You really haven't heard, have you? What's happened? There was a mistake at the stud, and someone had to be the scapegoat. They've sacked you. Oh, Adam, that doesn't seem fair. It's the Tates. Fair doesn't get a look in. Well, maybe I can have a word with Paddy. He no, it's too late. I wouldn't come back even if they begged me. Yeah, but still, I could... Look, to tell you the truth, I would have resigned anyway. Sooner or later. I don't like to stay anywhere for too long. So where are you going to go? I don't know. I haven't thought it through yet. Are you leaving now? Pick a couple of things up from the surgery, then, yeah. Well, I better say goodbye, then. Trisha, 
what happened between us and Virginia, I'm sorry. Don't be. I found the right bloke in the end, didn't I? I hope you're very happy. You too. Good luck. Yeah. Hiya. Shouldn't you be at school? Training day, shouldn't you be at work? I'm on my way. Well, what are you doing? Just thinking. <sighs> now I know the summer. Oh. I'll just leave it, Ollie. We could try something completely new in this family and actually talk about what's bugging you. It's nothing, it's just, uh, me and Dad just had a row. Don't normally bother you. It's just about driving lessons. And Tara. Ooh, you've got a crush on her, haven't you? Not me, no. So why has he stopped you seeing her? Where the old slapper might corrupt his little boy? Donna's way more your league. It's not just me that fancies Tara. I wish it was. Yeah, half the blokes in the village do. Just deal with it, Mark. Yeah. There's only one of them who's sleeping with her. Oh, yeah? Who's your rival? Oh, forget it. You've been moping around all morning like it's the end of the world. It's not just her, is it? Who's she seeing? Just leave it, will you? Who? Mark? Dad. You what? Dad and Tara. They're having an affair. You're totally sick! I didn't want to believe it either. What are you trying to do? I thought you wanted to talk. Dad stops you seeing her and you make up all this rubbish about him to get back at him. You're an idiot! Let's oh, forget it. You are more of a jerk than I thought you were, Mark. Holly! Well, I feel a bit sorry for him. Share Marlon, on discount dining. Nightmares are sound a bit cheap. It does seem a bit unfair for just sacking him for the sake of it. Somebody rang for somebody earlier, but I can't remember who. Well, he'll come back to me. Adam's always been a bit full of himself, though. I'll oh, sir. Mm, but he didn't deserve that. I suppose there must be more to it than meets the eye. Excuse me! It's, I'm sorry, excuse me! Could we just focus on my problems for a minute? What have you got? <sighs> OK. <clears throat> Dining style. Two for the price of one at Cher Marlon. Well, that's not very catchy. Why well, do you come up with something better, then? What's your charity doing here on her own? I don't know, but I hope she doesn't make an habit of it. Can't we seem to be taking sides? Well, the table's booked for her and Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh, it's, it's gone. At least the workers are keeping the noise down now. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Here you go. Yes? I can't wait for him any longer. I may as well order. <sighs> do you have to? I'm hungry. Do you have Zach Kane coming? I don't want to be seen feeding the enemy. Well, look, I'll tell you what. If they do, I'll dive under the table till it's safe to come out. Oh, you won't mind. Cheers. Why, well, Chris couldn't book somewhere halfway decent. Chris, Chris. Chris, that's it. He phoned up. He can't make it. He's got a meeting. He's booked you in for tomorrow. Now you tell me. So what are you having? Second thoughts, I'll grab a sign from the post office. Thanks for nothing. Oh, what? Oh, me and Lisa were just wondering. Any chance of getting a coffee or something? We brought her on lunch. Have you? What the flipping next start now? It's Lisa. We just put them on some shelves. There you go. Cheers. Oh, Mark, hi. Have you got a minute? Does he look like it? Oh, no respect for the parents these days. Nope. Have the same trouble with Benice, do you? It comes from not putting her across my knee when I had the chance. Hey, there's a thought. <laughs> oh, Mark, listen, I'm sorry about your lessons. I know they're important. I'll tell you what, I'll pick you up after work and I'll teach you some mind break turns. No, thanks. Look, I overreacted about Tara. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make it up to you. It's not me you should be worried about. What do you mean? I'm busy. What's the matter with him? I thought he were in a funny mood when I gave him a lift up to Stud Farm. You what? When was that? Yesterday. Well, I thought he was just going to see you or Tara. He was at the stud farm yesterday. Why didn't he say anything? I don't know, mate. I mean, kids that age are a mystery to me. Why don't you ask him? Thank you for letting me attend the meeting this time. Oh, Zoe. 
You have to admit you've got conflicting loyalties. I want to save the stud. If that conflicts with you or Chris, I don't think it should be me who's leaving. All right. I think the important thing now is keeping the situation contained. Mm. A situation created by your negligent practice. As you know, Adam made a mistake and we've let him go. Yep. And your sole contribution is to try and find some dirt on Brendan? Any luck? No. Then I think perhaps we should try something a little more grown up. At the very least, Brendan is going to sue for damages. The vet's insurance will cover it. Oh, why didn't you all paddy handle the injection? Adam should never have been trusted with it. And perhaps if Virginia had spent a little less of her time batting her eyelids at him, this might not have happened. Look, as much as I like you two bickering, we can't afford to waste the time. What we can't afford is for Brendan to pull his horses out. Word will get round and no-one will touch us. <sighs> When's he coming? Oh, any minute. All oh, right. Then I suggest the two of you do everything in your power to persuade him to stay with us, because the alternative doesn't bear thinking about. That's it. Look for lunch orders. Thanks, Diane. I'd be surprised if you had any food left. Afternoon. <laughs> hey, up. Come see how it's done. <laughs> Hardly. This is the last place I come for any tips. Thank you. Business a bit slack, is it, Marlon? Oh. Back to the rafters, mate. Every day. Can hardly court without busy. Is that why you can nip out in the middle of lunch? Hmm? Oh, no, well, actually, we've run out of uh, onions, and I uh, wonder if you could lend us a few. Onions? Uh, you got a sudden rush on? Yeah. I'll just go and have a look, see if I've got any left. Much obliged. So this is where all my customers are. Things not so clever, then. Oh, Come with that, that's between you and me. What's so special about the wool pack? I don't know. Why do you come? Force a habit. It's on the doorstep. Well, to be honest, uh, well, maybe there's still a bit of me left that uh, wishes that Brit and I were still behind the bar running things. You never know when you're happy at the time. Just when you look back. Still missing them? Hardly ever. <laughs> no, the only time we ever talked to each other was when we were working. Apart from the bar. With nothing in common. <laughs> Things will pick up, Marla. It's just a quiet time of the year. I can't tell you how sorry we are about what's happened. Sorry is not much good to me, though, is it? Naturally, we'll compensate you for the loss of the fall. My mares are here because I thought you knew what you were doing. It was an accident, a, a misunderstanding about a medical record. We're a good stud. Please, give us another chance. If a vet can't read a medical record... The matter has been dealt with. It won't happen again. Well, let's take a look at her. Well, she's absolutely fine. I've checked her over. You'll forgive me if I don't altogether trust your opinion on that. Now then, old lady. How are you doing? There you go, love. I asked for that. No, but you look like you could use it. On the house. Oh. <laughs> Callousage white bees. Great. Oh, hang on. What? It's always like this at lunchtime, dear. Like what? Full. Yeah. Well, we go back a bit, you and me, don't we, Mark? I remember seeing something in you when you read the menus for Cathy. <laughs> Look, I'm busy. Well, I just I wanted to ask you a, a favour. Um, I, obviously, share going really well, but I, I just I don't want to clash with what's going on up here. So? Well, I, don't, I wonder if you could keep me posted on things like prices, fee night specials, that kind of stuff. Spy for you, you mean? Yeah. Oh, get stuffed, Marlon. So you'll think about it then. You've been upsetting my staff. Teenager, tricky time. I've had a peep out of him all day. Oh, you got your onions then? Yeah. Must be in a rush to get back to your packed restaurant. I am. Thanks for these. Any time. Her penicillin allergy, he just didn't see it on her notes. Didn't look, you mean? There is no question of us not paying full compensation. <laughs> Damn right there isn't. Oh, Brendan, we've known each other for years. This was a one-off. There's no need for you to do anything rash. I need to do whatever's right for my horses. Look, name your price for the foal and we'll rush a check through. Before word of this gets out, you mean? Well, you know as well as we do that a business like ours is built on reputation. And if you pull your horses out, others will follow and there's every chance that we could go under. I can't help what others will do. I have to act in my own interests. Which are to keep your horses here, I promise you. I don't know. 
but I'm not going to make a decision on the spur of the moment. I'll uh, have to think it over. I'll be in touch. Hey, yeah. Come to check I'm not stealing anything. <sighs> Look, I'm really sorry about the way things have worked out, Adam. Right. And it's a shame things have ended like this. A shame? A shame for who? Well, I just hoped we could part as friends. Hey, are you trying to kid? Since I've got here, you've been dying to see the back of me. Uh, uh, well, maybe at first. All the business that I've brought to this practice. One mistake. I made one mistake. Yeah, one that could have closed us down, mate. If you backed me up, we could have made it look like it was Virginia's fault. <sighs> you what? This could ruin my career. This is the same Virginia that you used to go out with. I don't know what to say to you, Adam. I was there when you needed me. But now I don't see you rushing to bail me out. I'm sorry, if there's anything I could do, I would. You're just not prepared to. Well, I'd like to shake you and wish you luck. I'll be glad to see the back of this place. You and Zoe, when it comes down to it, you're just a pair of losers. So long, Paddy. This place is packed from morning till night. We must be doing something wrong. It's a pub. You can't compare it with Shane Marlon. We're aiming at a different clientele. More classy, more gourmet. More empty. Oh, it's just word of mouth. It won't be long before we're turning them away. Not if Pollard's got anything to do with it. We're hanging on by the skin of our teeth and then he comes along with his noise and his decorating. Oh, we've just got to get through this time and things will pick up. Mm, it will last that long. There's not enough coming in. Well, maybe we can close lunch times and just do the evenings. Yeah. Why not close down altogether? Look, Marlon, if we really need the money and we're not that overworked, maybe I could ask for some extra hours here. I don't suppose we've got much choice. Mm. Do, you think, do you think if we didn't work together, we'd still have stuff to talk about? Talk about? What do you mean? Well, do you think our relationship is based entirely on working with no else in common? Do you? No. Marlon, do you really think you see the day that I can't find anything to talk about? No. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> Hiya! Hiya, love. Where have you been? Took Nicola into Harrogate. Oh, that's nice for you. Oh, well, I would have asked you, Mum, only somebody had to look after the bar, didn't they? Alan could have. Well, maybe next time, eh? Been anywhere nice? Oh, just a bit of boring shopping. No such thing. I'll just drop these off. She could have asked me along. I think she thought we were too busy. I wanted to ask you about that. I was wondering if I could do some extra hours. Really? Things not too good? Well, I'll have a word with Bernice if she's got a minute. Oh, hiya. I thought you were your dad. Is he not here? Back in a minute. Where's Mark? Ah, good day. Yeah. It's not true, is it, what you said about Dad? No. Why did you say it? I just believe whatever you want, Ollie. It doesn't really make any difference. What did you say? Nothing. Well, what were they doing? Kissing, holding hands, dancing about with no clothes on what? I just saw them together. Where? At the stud. Doing what? I was there. I could just tell. No, you couldn't. They could have been doing anything. You don't know. How can you be sure? It's the way they were with each other. You just act different, don't you? you know, oh, wouldn't you? you know, wouldn't you? Couple of snogs with Donna Windsor and you know it all, eh? She's as good as admitted it. She's going on all the time about this... this bloke she's sleeping with. This is a fantasy, Mark. All right, then. Let's call her, shall we? Ask her. Let's see what she's got to say about it. She's just laughing our faces, isn't she? Go on, pick up the phone if you're so sure. Pick up the phone and ask her. You all right, love? Yeah. No, me and Joe had a few words. I thought so. 
He's taking on more hours at the bar. You can see him after. Well, he usually stays for a drink with the others. I'm fast asleep by the time he gets in. You don't think he's going off, my dear? Of course not, love. All right, how's it going? Yeah, another day or two will be out of the way. <laughs> Is he doing it on purpose, Pollard, do you think? Like trying to throw a spanner into the works? To be honest, love, paging his stairs is a funny way of messing up your business. Mm. Try telling Marl on that. He thinks everything Pollard does is aimed at him. Do you reckon things are getting a bit out of hand with Marl? No, he's just doing a lot of hours to make his restaurant work. Well, he's not the only one who works. Jill's so fed up with me putting the hours in, he's gone off to play not on without me. Well, we've all got to work, haven't we? Yeah, if I were you, I'd tell Mum to take it easy before it's too late. Mum and Dad are fine. They're happy. Why do you have to go and make all this up and ruin everything? Because it's not real, is it? So not let Mum's going to find out what's going on. Only if you tell her. Yeah, well, maybe I will. You can't, Mark. No, it's not true, according to you, is it? So I might as well tell her, let them sort it out. What for? Because maybe if I tell her, then she'll be able to put a stop to it. Right, I'm going to tell no, her. No, Mark! Get out of my way! You're not doing Get this! Get out of my way! Mark! Me. Look, she's a right no. to know what Dad's been doing to us. No. You're not gonna stop me. No. What the hell is going on? What are you doing? What's all this about? Maybe you should ask Dad that. Ask me what? What's he on about, Sean? I don't know. You do. Why don't you tell her what's been going on? Tell her where you've been all them nights when you said you've been working. Go on, tell her. <laughs> 